right. operating right away. What's that? Not for three hours. We'll get the furnaces going anyway. We'll be there as soon as we can make it. All the fuel tanks at the plant have been drained. They can't get any oil for three hours. Unless they get some right away, they won't be able to keep the furnaces going. There's a truck over for the storage tank. It ought to hold enough oil to keep the plant operating a few hours. We'll load it ourselves and run it into town. Come on. Are the tools still in the back of the car? Yeah. Well, let's go. We got a job down by the bridge. It'll take a while for this to fill up. You boys go ahead and get things set at the plant. Right. ought to do it.
that's over. Me too. It was a pretty narrow squeak. Let's drop these fellas off the sheriff's office. Yeah. We turned them over to the police, sir. But as usual, they did not know where their orders were coming from. Nor did they know where 39013 is hiding. What about the gas plant? It's vital that it continues operations. I delivered the one truck of fuel oil in time to keep the furnaces in operation. Before I left, other trucks were bringing in oil from all over the county. There's no danger of running short of fuel as long as these trucks keep making deliveries. Good, good. I'd like to compliment you boys on your thoughtfulness. I'm relying on you now more than ever. I'm ready to give you your treatment, Mr. Granville. Good, Doctor. Uh, Jeff and I will be down to your office as soon as I've finished, uh, Dixon. That'll be fine, Doctor. Everyone in the house, with the exception of Mr. Granville, is meeting in my office in half an hour. I have a theory as to who this mysterious red circle is. I want to talk it over with you boys before the others get there. Right. You may come too, Miss Granville. Thank you. I'd like to. I've got to find out who this red circle is. He represents the only leak in an otherwise perfect setup. Hello, Marco. Get your pad and pencil. I've got some instructions to give. Okay. Shoot. See to it that a truck loaded with gasoline instead of crude oil makes delivery at the city gas plant. Trucks are becoming and going all day making delivery so that the gasoline will not be detected. Yeah, once it is emptied into the supply tanks and reaches the furnaces, it will do irreparable damage. Now act on this at once, Marco. I got it. That's funny. You never mentioned this plan before. Marco knew it was a phony at the moment I said, act on this at once. You see, Malcolm, I've good reason to believe that the Red Circle listens in on some of these phone calls. Unless I miss my guess, the Daredevils will receive another Red Circle message within the hour. And when that message arrives, I want to account for everyone in this house. Now go out and keep your eyes open. All right. <clears throat> Another newspaper, Granville. Hey. Here's some news you might have missed. You'll never uh, get... save that speech until tomorrow. Then you'll have some more interesting news to get excited about. Be out there. Well, she 
someone else in the house. Maybe it's stuck, out of order. Let's go see. A red circle note. These wires tap into that push button there. Ingenious device. 39013, planning to substitute gasoline for fuel oil at the Tri-City gas plant. Good heavens, that would be disastrous. You boys get down there right away. Examine every truck. I'll contact the police. Yes, sir. The red circle fools you. Fooled us all. We're still no wiser than we were. But you say the daredevils left for the gas plant. That's right. But at least we'll get rid of them. Blake and his men are at the plant with express orders to finish off the daredevils once and for all. Get going. Well, nothing but fuel oil's gone in so far. This truck's okay. There won't be another for 15 minutes. <laughs> 